Hello you Carpy lot and welcome to Carpy Forever UK with Scotty P. And you join me today at Nash Lake in Royston. Um, hopefully we can get something on the bank. There's, there's a fair few fish in here um, ranging 20s to 30s and also um, apparently a 40. So hopefully Let's see if we can get something on the bank for you guys. So then guys, you join me at Nash Lakes down in Royston. Um, I'm on Wood Lake, uh, which is about four acres, a little bit just under five acres, I'd say. Um, it's a very, very deep lake. Um, depths go down to about 28 feet. Um, and it's about four foot in the margins. Um, I have had some advice on this lake before turning up, so it is a margin lake, so that is what exactly what I'm doing. So in a little while, when I get uh, five minutes, I will bring the camera over and I'll kind of try and show you whereabouts I'm fishing. Um, so on this complex, there are two lakes, um, the Kingfisher Lake, which is slightly, so it's not exactly larger because it's actually smaller in acres. Um, but it looks larger on a map if you was to look at it. It's a longer lake, whereas this one's more of a, of a circular lake and, and like a pan, if you like, like a, almost like a wok. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not fishing far out. I'm only four and three quarter rod lengths out on my um, right hand rod, which is gonna change to my middle rod in a little while. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can get something on the bank. Wind. Afternoon guys, um, well, not much to uh, to say. Uh, been out for a few hours now. Um, I've had a few bleeps on the rods, but to be honest, I think it's just um, just wind. So I'm gonna add some weights to my, um, to my bobbins to hopefully counteract the wind, uh, wind bites. Um, but yeah, it's been, been a lovely day. Um, I think there's been two fish caught so far on the lake um, it's, it is a pretty hard it is fishing pretty hard so, right i just want to do a quick shout out guys um to lee setfield um he's got a website called dayticket.co.uk now dayticket.co.uk is um a new and simpler way to get you out on the bank really um you can find out up-to-date information you can find out new lakes yeah lakes you may not have even known were in your local area um, to be honest guys this is probably one of the most perfect um, solutions to the current situation with uh, with regards to COVID-19 and all that um, they are also looking for new lakes new venues so if you are a lake owner or if you know somebody who is or if you know a local fishery that might benefit from um, online ticket booking then give Lee a shout um, he's on my Facebook page so you can find him on there and he will quite happily help you guys out I'd also like to say a massive thank you to all of my 277 sorry no 290 um members on my facebook page um i couldn't do this without you guys uh thank you so much for all your support um i would also like to say a thank you to chris bailey um now he runs a, another youtube channel called one percent meditation i believe it's called um puts up a lot of uh, meditation music it's really really relaxing I listen to it a lot to be honest after a hard stressful day at work 
Um, so yeah, head over to his YouTube channel, check him out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll also leave a link for um, dayticket.co.uk in the description. Um, right, so, like I was saying, not much uh, to update you on at the moment. So hopefully I'll see you at the next update or if I've got a carp on the bank. Yeah, I'll see you then. Tight lines, guys. So my hook baits and uh, where I've got them for this evening is um, my left hand rod is, I don't know if you just saw that little ripple over the back there, which was perfect timing. Um, well, it's near there, I suppose. If you come back, probably about half a rod length. So my left hand rod is probably about there. Um, I found a nice little gravel bar. Um, it's probably about four foot in depth. Um, about eight wraps um, just out in front of me. Uh, my middle rod, now I've moved that to the tree, the overhanging tree that you see here. Yeah, my middle rod is about a rod length away from that tree um, it was as close as I could get it because my swim is a little bit tight if I just uh, swing you up I've got this overhanging tree directly above me that even when kneeling and casting <laughs> I was uh, catching hold of that tree a couple of times so um, yeah I just uh, just moved my position of my lead slightly hopefully um i'm in the right position um now my right hand rod right so my right hand rod is around about here i'd say um i had uh, one of the bailiffs pop round earlier uh cap i think his name is um and he said to me, whatever you do, mate, um, make sure you leave one down your right hand side, uh, close to the bank. Um, he said that he's seen a few carp, at least half a dozen held up in here of an evening time, um, especially when they get a little bit spooked um, from all the, all the action that's going on out in the middle of the lake. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, we might be able to have a little bite and have something on the bank for you. Right then guys, so I've just shown you where my baits are for the evening. I'm not planning on moving anything. Um, like I said, I did see a few fish showing earlier, so I've moved my left hand rod, um, and that's gone out more towards the middle than being right in the margin. Um, other than that, I've had a few other little changes, which um, instead of going from PVA bag, uh, I switched over to spod mix. Um, but I'm not heavily spotting like I normally would. I'm just putting two or three spots out every three to four hours, uh, just over each spot. So in that spot mix, I've got my hemp, my maize, pigeon conditioner, and um, a few chopped up boily, just random chopped up boilies that I found. Um, and I've also added in some Tor Liquid Gold. Absolutely banging stuff. Um, it's, it sends off food signals in the water. It keeps them 
grubbing around for for ages. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to uh, see how things go. Hopefully, uh, I can get a carp on the bank for you this evening before I go to bed. Just want to do a few few little shout outs so I've got them written down here um, Dave Bastin massive shout out to you buddy thank you so much for letting me advertise on your Facebook page um, and also giving me a shout out on your podcast uh, Fishing Outdoors UK guys head over to your podcasts and download it have a good old listen to it it's on uh, Spotify I believe it's on iTunes as well um, he uploads every Thursday evening. Brilliant, uh, brilliant listen. I've been looking for something to listen to on my way into work and, you know, while I'm on my rounds, I'm a carer, you see, so having, I don't like to listen to the radio. I get bored of listening to music, so having that, it's perfect for me, to be honest. Um, yeah, so head over to his Facebook page subscribe to his Facebook page, subscribe to his uh, his podcasts. My next shout out is a massive thank you to Dave Beanie uh, for letting me advertise on his Facebook page again with all of my um, YouTube videos. His Facebook page is Fishing for Prizes UK. Um, I'll post a link below and I'll also post um, a link to Dave Bastin's uh, podcast, if I can find one. Um, yeah, so head over to um, Fishing for Prizes UK. Like his page. He has some brilliant, brilliant um, raffles going on. They are, they are really good. I've had a look at them myself. And my last shout out is to Danny Burton. And her family um, they've just started up a uh, another raffle page they did have one before it's a uh, A&K tackle head over like and subscribe to their page like I said they have some fantastic raffles on their bait bundles um, I've known Andy for a little while now um, he used to be the fishery manager of uh, one of the lakes that I fish quite regularly uh, Albans Lakes over in St Albans um, and again guys I can't thank you you lot enough um, for letting me advertise and the fact that you guys have been sharing um, my videos out there all right anyway as you can see the light is starting to fade so I am gonna wrap it up there hopefully I can get a fish on the bank for you before the light completely goes. Uh, Evening guys, um, just thought I'd uh, jump on before I go to bed. Um, very quiet day to be honest, nothing but just little bleeps here and there. Um, a lot of it I think was down to the wind earlier, um, but now I've had a couple of little liners, um, so hopefully they might develop into something. Who knows? Uh, yeah, so let's see what happens in the night. Tight lines, guys. Well, good morning, you carpy lot. Uh, very uneventful night last night. Uh, I'll tell you what I did catch, though. I caught a really good night's sleep. Probably one of the best nights I've had in a long time, actually. Slept really, really well. Um... But anyway, it's not what I was here for. Um, so, just want to say a few quick words. Um, so, you may have noticed that I've started another video, which is called How To Carping. Um, now, the reason I've started that is because since starting these videos, I've had a few of my friends um, and a few people who watch me as well, you know, 
um, asked me how how do I how do I cast or how do I feel the lead down in the lake and you know could you do a video showing me how to tie this or could you do a video showing me how to do that yeah so that's what I'm gonna do so if you are watching my how to's I hope you really enjoy them um, but yeah um, I'm gonna I've got the kettle on so I'm gonna make a cup of tea I'm gonna see if I can uh, I don't know really I, I can't think of anything more that I can do apart from sticking a zig on it's only one thing I think I could change that might work so I might stick a zig on later on but we'll see see how it goes but for now I'm gonna make a cup of tea um, and probably an egg sarnie and I'll see you if I have a, if I have a fish on the bank all right tight lines guys in the swim that's you know keeping me here so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna reel in have a little walk around um and see if i can find a better spot uh, see if i can find the fish <laughs> you know um i have had the bailiffs just come round. um he's told me that there is a swim that's just come available just a couple up from me um and there's a gravel bar that runs just out in front of um in front of the swim uh, directly opposite if you can I'll, sh I'll show you quickly see that overhanging willow there it runs in line with that um, but just I'm just not in the right swim for it it's uh, it's about two swims up from me um, and probably about eight wraps out um, so yeah, so I'm going to see if I can jump in that swim now. Afternoon guys, um, so as you can see, yeah, I've had a little move. Um, didn't really feel it down there this morning where I was. So I've moved further up the bank a little bit, um, about three swims up. Uh, just, just next to my pal, uh, Tom. Um, not the reason why I moved. Um, I saw two or three fish it was about three actually and they're quite nice size as well and um, the gentleman that was in here before was packing down and they were just around about here on the lake maybe a little bit closer in actually you can't see my finger about here yeah it's not far out yeah about seven to eight wraps um out in front so yeah um but Lo and behold, got here, cast it out, put a bit of bait out. I've been here for about two or three hours now and um, nothing. But I've only put two rods out there. Yeah, um, and I'll show you the bait that I've got them on at the moment. Um, so I've got one rod, which um, my left hand rod, yeah, is on an alpha boily with a Tor Alpha pop-up. So it kind of looks like that on the deck, yeah? Uh, in a snowman rig setup, uh, on a standard hair rig. Uh, one of the ones I showed you earlier. Um, my other, my middle rod, so yeah, my middle rod has got the Lobs Tor um, wafter. Now I've cut that in half, yeah? So I've halved that and I've topped it, on to, put it on top, sorry, as a topper to my Alpha um, lobster infused with glug um, boily, again, on a snowman rig set up. Right, and then my right hand rod, so I'll tell you what I've got on it first before I, um, show you where it is that's the alpha pop-ups in there they smell like um palmer violets or like a marzipan really really nice so on my right hand rod which i've got down in the snags in the margin 
Yeah, I have the pineapple and N-butanic slime ball wafter. Yeah, from the Tor Bates range. Right, and uh, right, so I'm just going to show you whereabouts my rods are positioned. So, rod, my right hand rod, the one that I hadn't shown you where it was yet, is just in between them two bushes, uh, branches there, just to the right, to the left slightly, yeah, is where I've uh, positioned my bait for that one, and I just literally slung a load of um, bait over the top of it. That's a nice little, might have been a little tiny little skimmer showing there. Right, so my left and middle rod are just literally there. My left hand rod is there and my middle rod is there. Yeah. And this is the lake. Just have a little pan round so you can guys can have a look at it. Beautiful lake. It seems featureless, but there is a lot of underwater features, yeah, which can be seen in the snags. So if I just put my glasses over the camera, if you can see down there, there's a lot of snags under the water. Some even poking out just in the margins there. So yeah, so that's where my rods are positioned. Um, I'm going to leave them there for the next couple of hours. I'm slowly packing away now. I've got no bait left in my bait bucket, so that's uh, going in the car. Um, yeah, so come five o'clock, let's see if we can get a fish on the bank for you. Um, I mean, being the first time I've fished here, still learning about the lake. I'm definitely coming back and I'm gonna crack this lake. See if I don't. But yeah guys, right. So see you at the next update. Um once I've packed down completely. Um if not, hopefully I'll see you with a nice big carp in my hands. Tight lines guys. Um, so yeah it was a blank for me first one of the series um, but I've really enjoyed it I'm definitely gonna be coming back here I'm gonna crack I'm gonna crack this lake next time um, whether it be on Wood Lake or Kingfisher I'll definitely be doing one of them um, so yeah I've had a lot of fun no fish to report um, so I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video I hope you've made it to the end uh, please like and subscribe to my videos. Um, give, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if there's anything you want me to cover in the how-to videos, um, you know, leave me a comment there as well, and I'll see what I can do. All right, guys. But for now, for me, it's goodbye. Take care. Right and tight lines, and see you on the bank. Bye bye.